Let me teach you how to model soffits. By default, they don't want to let you slope from two different directions at the same time, so I'll show you a workaround. My name is Jesse Dom, a practicing BIM manager teaching you Revit for free. Let's continue the house from the last tutorial. Let's click on the ceiling level floor plan and change this to roof plan. Click no. Now the unfortunate thing about the roof soffit tool is that if you were to draw something large or whatever, and you wanted it to slope in two different directions at the same time, you selected both of these lines and clicked define slope. As soon as you try to accept that, it says more than one slope is defined. The same things happen with ceilings and there's just no way around it. So we're gonna have to use a workaround. Click quit sketching, discard the roof, and abandon that. In 3D, I'm gonna select this roof because we wanna use the same outline as the outside of this. I'm going to copy and paste align to same place. And then I'm just going to change its base offset to minus 600, just to get it out of the way. Let's click Edit Type, duplicate this, and we're just going to call this 10 millimeters. Click OK. Edit the type, change this to 10. Let's change the material. And let's just choose this Render Beige Smooth, because it might be a stucco type material. Select something in the finish layer and click delete and delete. Okay. And okay. Now you can see that the soffit is following the same shape as our roof. What we'll need to do is go to our ground floor plan, edit the footprint because we have one selected. We still have the roof selected. We can hit edit footprint and we have to go around and select all of these edges of lines. If we tried to tab for some reason, it only wants to use the center line of the walls. So we can click on that line. Hit escape twice. Now hover over one of these lines, hit tab, and then select all of the lines within that loop. And we're going to make sure that they do not define a slope. Click OK. Come back to 3D, and we can see that our soffit wraps around the building nicely. Now let's go back to the ground floor. Now let's draw a section. Click on section. We've got a building section here. Now click on one point, go over horizontally, and draw that there. Now if you deselect that and double click on this blue head, it will actually take you to the view itself. Let's change the graphics to medium. And now we can come over here and we can move this by clicking on the top part of there, we can come up there and move it straight up so it sits on the underside of the timber. Come back to 3D and we can see that that is looking amazing. Now what happens if you want to have part of your soffit be flat? Let's click on the soffit, copy, paste, align to same place, and then edit the footprint. Go to the ground floor. Now we want to keep the same distance. So take this measure between two points and see that that's 390. Select this, copy, and move this up by 390. Hit escape twice and make sure that it is not defining the slope. Let's trim these lines together. Hover over this one, tab to select the loop, delete. Come over here, tab to select the loop, and delete. Tick the box. Let's move this section over into this area and we're going to need to move this bottom point right there so that it crosses over that line there. Now if I go back to the ground floor, edit the footprint, select both of these lines, I want to copy these to clipboard. Now let's cancel editing that Go back to the section, select this one, and then go back to the ground floor. We still have one selected, and edit this footprint. Now I want to paste a line to the current view, which is going to paste those two lines into the same place. We don't need that one because it will just overlap when we trim that. But now we can clean up that, accept, and look at that. Now all we have to do is go to our ground floor, move this back just a little bit, go to the section, see that the difference is 180. Click on that. Let's change the top offset to 180. Now that looks great in 3D. 
I can modify and join this to this piece of soffit, and it will actually cut a hole in the soffit itself. We've modeled a beautiful soffit. Now this entire channel is free. All I'm asking is you please hit subscribe. Thank you.